Good morning guys from Cancun, Mexico. So I'm here mainly for one reason and that is to do what we're doing today. As you saw by the intro there, we're about to see underwater sculptures. This place looks like a sunken ship or like the contents of a sunken ship or a sunken explosion. It's a bunch of people, sculptures of life-size people, objects. It's gonna be very cool. So you have a few options for this place, but two are the main ones that I know about, which is you can either snorkel or you can scuba dive. I am scuba certified, so I could have done that to get closer to the sculptures, but I just want it to be like, I just want it to be a lot easier. I just want to go into the water naturally and be able to get down close on my own by free diving if possible. Um, so I'm gonna go snorkeling and we will get as close as we can get. Get a glimpse into what we're about to see down there. Okay. That's just okay. Okay. Going at the top. Let's go. We are first sculpture here. It's a great thing. It's a lot of work to see up here. There's a reason this place exists. It isn't only a tourist destination. These sculptures were put here for a good reason. Since Cancun has been very popular among tourists for many years, hundreds of thousands of people have come here to snorkel and scuba dive, which has had a dramatic effect on the coral reefs and the marine life close by. So they decided to put this underwater sculptured garden in a new spot in order to give some of the other diving spots a break from people, allowing them to grow and flourish again. There are more than 500 sculptures here in three different galleries. The sculptures are made from a cement mix that encourage coral, plankton, and seaweed growth on the surface, making them more effective than the use of sunken cars and ships to grow reefs. Some are drilled with holes to allow life to populate inside the openings.
get down here and this is a new style beetle. Probably just a few years old. But there is an older one of the that we're gonna we're gonna do some. I recommend that you scuba dive if you're certified rather than snorkel. In developed and more touristy locations like this, safety is a big concern and so they didn't want to let me take off my life vest in order to free dive, which is something I've been working on. So you're basically stuck at the surface. So if you want to get close to these sculptures, make sure you dive. I did get a short time to take off my life vest to get a little bit closer. These ones are called the bankers, and they're sticking their head into the sand because they don't care about the world around them. They don't care what's happening. They don't care where the money's going. They only care about their own. So this underwater museum was built for the last 10 years. Some of these were put here 10 years ago, and some just for the last five or three years. Well guys, that was a real cool experience. 
I like experiences like that that are promoting something good in the environment. So the growth of coral in a new area, less diving in an old area where it was getting bad. And it's art. Art that's underwater, so that is awesome. Now I'm going to a place that I think many of you have heard of. You really have to check it out because I've heard so much about this place. We're about to go to Tulum. 